What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Wilson's for Real. Shout out to the Real Squad. Squad, squad up. up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to Wilson's for Real. You heard me. Mm-hmm. So today is... It's Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yeah. I did the snake move. You feel me? I'm ready. So today, uh, as you all see, we don't have tacos. tacos. We have nachos. And uh, I made some Rotel dip. Mm-hmm. And for you all that aren't um, familiar with what Rotel dip is, it's pretty much uh, Velveeta cheese, uh, Rotel tomatoes, mm-hmm. and... You can either use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. We use ground turkey in ours. Mm-hmm. And I have a little secret ingredient that I put in there as well to kind of get that, uh, that uh, uh, kick. So uh, we're going to enjoy our uh, nachos today instead of tacos. And we have... We have some jalapenos. We just got a, some. Got some salsa. And we got our rotel. Got our rotel. She got hers. I got mine. But I can get some of hers, and she can get some of mine. Maybe we should switch this. What you yeah, think? put that in the middle. Give it a little balance. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There you go. All right. All right, so we're going to say grace, and we're going to do a thumbnail. We're going to eat. Grace. Thumbnail. How is it with the new Rotel chilies? It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. So, um. I got some. All these pure aqua peach. Cold water in the building. Make sure you stay hydrated. It does taste like chili. Get a little chili thing. Mm. A little chili rotel. Mm. Chili fixings. Mm. Now that's good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. Shout Wait. out to shout out to all the YouTubers that ain't gave up. <laughs> yep. Cause the struggle is real. Mm-hmm. Not knowing what to do and what we could do more of. I feel like we can did everything. Right. I'm cleaned up, organized shell. Mm-hmm. Went to the store probably too many times. I think we did good though. Mm-hmm. I don't think we overdid it. Mm-mm. Cause everything we bought we gonna eat except for I did do canned goods, but I didn't overdo it. I did like a canned good per person. It mm. was people I was on YouTube. They got. $1,300 grocery hauls. Let me tell you what's not going to happen. Right. $1,300. You tripping. At all. Look at the phone. <laughs> yeah. But I say everybody just calm down. We're not going to run out of tissue. Tissue is manufactured in the United States. We're not going to run out, I assure you. I mean, people getting it before they even run out. You ain't used the first 100 rolls you got. (laughs) I'm going to get another 100. We already had to. Yep. Everybody calm down. Yes, we are in a crisis right now. But we're going to be okay. But think about those people that... Go to the store. They don't have no car. Oh, no. So, I was in Walgreens getting essentials such as medicine. They had hydrogen peroxide. They ain't had no alcohol, but they did have vinegar. So, I got that. And I got some medicine for everybody, like Tylenol and stuff like that. 
This girl, she had been to four stores on that particular street. She went to Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walgreens. She said she was getting ready to keep walking up and going to another Family Dollar and another Dollar General. She was like, nobody had tissue. She was like, I was on my last roll. So, in essence, you buy, if you see tissue, I don't think you should buy more than one. But I think you should get it. Because if you run out, it, the store might not have none. Because if you don't go at a certain time and nobody knows what time that is, because I went to a store early looking for meat. I was able to get the meat. Then Terry went maybe two hours later and they had a lot of meat. So, mm -hmm. Well, when I say calm down, like be considerate of those people that you just talked about. Like that lady got to walk up and down the street. True. All right. If you got enough to get you through... Uh, at least two weeks. Just wait. Wait. Mm hmm Damn. You know, I ain't saying wait till you down to your last row. Mm -hmm. But be smart about it, people. Come on. Yeah. Um. Some people, uh, like you said, it's hard for them to get to the store. When they playing cat and mouse trying to get to the store to hopefully get something. Mm -hmm. And you done been to the store, they ain't got nothing, barely got transportation, and can't find it. You know? True. It's a um, cold world out here, though. Mm hmm. Cold world. Check up on your peoples, though, too. Yep. Make sure your people's good. Just a simple phone call, for real. Yep. I think this thing is really bringing people together, though. It is. Been having a lot of family time, catching up on movies. Talking to friends you don't really get to talk to during the week because you out here working. Mm-hmm. Folding clothes, organizing. Going to kid events, basketball games. Like, that stuff is cease right now. Yep. Ain't no after-school program. Ain't none of that. Ooh, no, some I'm no plays to go to. Put them over there because I'm taking it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's we in for real. We on for real pause. Mm -hmm. right. right now. You ain't pause. Mm hmm. Mm, pause. <laughs> <laughs> But to me, it's a good pause. It is. Because, like I said on Sunday Support, we might not never get this type of break again. Mm -mm. It's unfortunate that people are sick and getting sick. Mm -hmm. But the people that aren't sick, that don't need to be getting sick by somebody that's sick, mm -hmm. like, just be grateful and thankful for this moment of pause. True. And just take advantage of it. I, I I can honestly say it was the most relaxed I've ever been in a while. I be pretty relaxed. But yeah, for him. Because I am the person that don't have no issue with staying in the house. I ain't got no issue with staying in the house either. I just be having to do stuff. True. <laughs> I would much rather be with y'all. And that's why I'm grateful for this time right now. The kids are, for the most part, I said most part, for the most part have been well behaved. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been seeing people on Facebook uh, over their kids. But... I can honestly say it ain't been as bad as I imagined. Mm -mm. They've been pretty helpful around the house. Yeah, they have. I'm, I had a little arguments here and there. But it get worked out. Mm -hmm. We've been getting them in a bed a decent hour. Make sure your kids still go. Don't be up. Having them up at 12 o'clock, they still need to go to bed at 
And our day bedtime was normally nine. And it's ten thirty now, so we gave him a little leeway. And usually on the weekend they be up to eleven. We ain't even been doing that. Ten thirty. Every day. Every day. And they know. You need to get your rest. Get your rest. And they ain't been waking up super duper early like on the weekend. <laughs> Mm-mm, they wake up at like mm, nine. Yeah, nine. We we need to be up anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. They like our alarm clock. Yep, they definitely are. <laughs> um, so and if they weren't here, we would probably be out mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> Man, and, Ooh, the hotel um, pretty good. Yeah, it is. And we got a, a snack bag video coming soon. Don't let the kids eat all your snacks either. Yeah, don't let them eat all the snacks. You ration them snacks for them because they don't need to sit there and eat all of that. Mm-hmm. Especially if you, just think about if you got a family of four, how many snacks they getting. I use a lunch bag and I zip it up and I remember at night to fill it up. If I don't remember my five-year-old, be like, I don't have nothing to eat in my you snack You were hella bag. sad the other day. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I said bag. Can't throw something in there, stop. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You know that was going to check this soon. Right. He be on it. On the weekend, I thought he was going to get a little break. <laughs> he was like, nope, want a snack bag. Mm-hmm. I'm like, but it's been helping because we ain't going through stuff no, as fast. We not. Uh, we, and we got some stuff hidden. Some stuff down, you know. Here. Mm-mm. I don't realize it. Like, on the top. Oh, yeah. Put them in a little secret little bag. Yep. Hey, if you go to Sam, make sure you look at the pop toy box before you buy it. I thought I was really doing something. It was a variety pack, which is okay if it was the flavors that they eat for real. We experimented with this one. It's cherry. <laughs> Nobody eats it. Cookies and cream. Mm-mm. S'more. Now, s'mores now. See, they've been killing s'mores. He likes the s'mores. And I don't even know what the other one is. Blueberry. Oh, no, I ain't eating it. But that's why I was on sale. Mm-hmm. So I, I was at Sam, and it was like, sale. Six forty nine. Oh, yeah. I'm like, man, for four pack? That's a deal. They still eating them, though. They are. And so I swooped them up. But make sure y'all read, bro. Reading is fun. The mental. Mm-hmm. I'm like running out. I wasn't even that hungry at first until I started eating. And make sure y'all try to make a couple meals so to keep the kids full. Yeah. And make them eat. <laughs> now you make some pancakes eggs and bacon they better eat that well fill them up for a few hours too though. Mm-hmm. Let me get that. and then make sure you making meals that like can stretch for a leftover yep. i.e. spaghetti mm-hmm. look here's some making a Cajun pasta we had ribs the other day, you know, stuff you can if you eat for lunch. I mean, if you eat, if you make for dinner, you can eat for lunch. Mm-hmm. And if you can afford to eat out food, please do it every once in a while, so you don't eat up all the food you went to the store mm-hmm. and bought all at once. <laughs> So, if you still, because, I mean, here, we on lockdown, like a lockdown, for 30 days, and it's just the city and the county, no other parts of the state, of Missouri, oh, Kansas City. But, you can still go to the grocery store, the pharmacy. And carry out. And carry out. So, if, you gonna save a lot of money doing it, but you can still do it once a week. Mm-hmm. That's what we gonna do. I like, oh shoot, I like bass, my side. Mm-hmm. It just fell right here. But, um, yep. <laughs> but, um, yep. 
<laughs> what y'all been doing? We gonna try to go live this week. It's just been hard. It's mm -hmm. been it's been hard because we've been in chill mode. Mm hmm And by the time we think about it, we probably should do it when we think about it as opposed to later. Because mm -hmm. doing it at 8 o'clock don't work out. Yeah. But surprisingly, it ain't been a lot of people going live like I thought. Uh-uh. They probably in the same mindset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, you ready to call it quits, boo? Yeah, I think we ate everything. Well, thanks for tuning in. To Wilson's for real. Be sure to practice social distance. They move back. Be sure to wash your hands long enough to get them clean. 20 seconds. Use hand sanitizer. When you're out. And when you go to the gas station. Put on gloves. Have you, a, have you some gloves in the car. Pump your gas with gloves. Just take all the proper precautions. People might say it's overdoing it. I'm sick of it. Yeah, you put it over there. People might say, oh, you're overdoing it or we're overdoing it. But I'd rather overdo it and not get anything and underdo it. And we spread this thing that we trying to stop. Mm -hmm. So, it was just some minor life adjustment. We're going to continue to pray for small businesses and those that have been affected by the virus. We're going to definitely make sure we pray for them. Mm -hmm. Check on our people. Stay positive throughout this thing. We're going to make it through together, y'all. And we'll be back to a new normal. Um, but with that being said, like, share, share, share. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Ooh, TikTok. Yeah, make sure you do TikTok because we really been on TikTok lately. Um, and Twitter. And, of course, YouTube. Until next time, we're going to holler at y'all. We out this thing. Peace.